Get it? Ice cream for ice cream? Yeah, ice cream. Like I was no, screaming. You fair. No, guys, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Right. Don't leave me, guys. This way. I was screaming. No, okay. Hey, it's Ife, Farai, and Columbus. And we're three really, really good friends who really, really love to eat. Join us as we put our taste buds to the test and discover the amazing food around St. John's. We order the same dish at three places and then we vote for our favorite. Let's get stuffed! Today is going to be sweet. We're heading to three places with gelato and ice cream. We're going to the Newfoundland Chocolate Company, the parlor, and Sugar Mamas. Let's get it! So today we're here at the Newfoundland Chocolate Company on Torbay Road. They're well known for their artisan chocolate and bars with Newfoundland saying. Like, you got me drunk. Let's go. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're actually here to try the gelato. So let's get the scoop on this cool place. Yeah, let's go. Yes, bye. <laughs> Best kind. <laughs> No, um, but what is gelato, to be honest? It's Italian ice cream. I was gonna say it's jelly with a toe. <laughs> what have you actually had gelato though? Yeah, there's this place back home in Zimbabwe that was actually called gelato. So original. I didn't name it. <laughs> That's rich, guys. Gelato yeah. from gelato. Just go bash someone's business on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. <laughs> I think there's some really interesting flavors here. What I see, I saw this really good. Uh, is it stracciatella? Stracciatella. Stracciatella. I'm, I'm thinking more of the Venezuelan. It was compared to single malt whiskey. Guys, I love caramel so much. I'm gonna go with the caramel cheesecake. Stretchy Let's see. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. First thoughts, what do you guys think? I love the fact that they put a chocolate on the top. I got a chocolate for free. I think it looks great. Like, I like the aesthetic already. Guys, I love caramel. Hmm. I love the taste of this. I can't really describe it. I'd say it's, I can taste like a bean in it, but I can't recognize it. So I get why it's compared to whiskey because it has a pungent taste and you can feel it as it goes down your throat. So on top there's milk chocolate and a white chocolate drizzle. And when you taste it, there's like a crunchiness to it, which I really enjoy. Yeah. I don't know, the flavor just goes down really easily. The caramel is very prominent. For starters, this is really rich and creamy. Man, you used to have tried out. <laughs> like, I can't explain it, it's just so good. So the owner actually studied with, a, with an Italian gelatoist, which is like a it's, a, it's a real word. I'm not even making it up, it's a gelato chef. Okay, cool. Yeah, so she studied under a gelatoist. Um, so that means it's really authentic and it's made fresh every day. So here at the parlor on Military Road, right opposite Bannerman Park. They're known for their house-made gelato, baked goods, and their coffee. They opened in 2019, and they've quickly become a hotspot for delicious treats. I got a coconut creme brulee and a ginger peach. I got the coconut chocolate and oh, I can't see is the London fog. Oh my gosh. So I got a coconut creme brulee and the other flavor is vanilla with um, honeycomb. That slapped. 
I love the chocolate chunk bits. Chocolate is the word of the day. Mm. Guys, I love the look of this like waffle ice cream. And actually everything on here is like homemade. Like the waffle was made right in front. I saw them make the waffle like, mm. right in front of my eyes. Can I take it out? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, like a sandwich. So the owner is actually from the UK and he's been making gelato with his family since he was a little boy. So he's been in this for a minute now. This consumption think? method is fry approved. <laughs> a feast on the eyes for me. Like it was just visually pleasing. I feel like people love it because they can take Instagram photos of it and just like share with their friends. I thought it was very good. I love the yeah. way that the coconut and the... Coconut? <laughs> <laughs> and the caramel sauce were like combining. It was very sweet and I'm, I have a sweet tooth so I love that. The creme brulee was very pronounced but the vanilla was like you know, subdued it a bit. And then I think mixed with the um, honeycomb, really, really like, I love, I love, let me say it again. I love honeycomb. Um, oh, yeah. So it was, it was great. smells so sweet here, don't you guys agree? Uh, I totally agree. <laughs> wow, that's because we're at Sugar Mama's Bakery on Elizabeth Avenue, and they're well known for their inventive cupcakes, but that's a story for another day. Right now, we're gonna go try out their ice cream cookie sandwich. Guys, I feel like we've gone back in time, like the decor in here is like pretty cool. What do you feel? It's like nice and retro, don't you think? I love it, I love it. Giving yeah. me like the grease lightning vibes. It reminds me of a diner. As you can see, there are two types of cookie sandwiches. One is the chocolate chip sandwich and one is the boyfriend sandwich. Why is it called the boyfriend sandwich? Well, she said it's because it's full of shh. So, third one of the day. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Let's go, let's get it. It's good. I'm getting the boyfriend sandwich because, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is soft serve made in-house um, every day. And it's also gluten-free as well as nut-free. And yeah. And they also have a vegan option, which is really inclusive. I like that. Yeah, like you don't get a lot of places that do that yeah. at all. Before we get far, this cookie is amazing. Mm. Like I like the fact that the cookie is soft. It's not too hard. Yeah. yeah. It's still crunchy at the same time and it complements the ice cream really well like they work well together i think it's like a classic you know vanilla ice cream brings me back to like childhood playing in the park honestly it's messy but it's worth the mess it's a delicious mess this these cookies are huge it feels like a meal i'm actually i'm actually getting full Yeah, the sugar rush, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it got, it got me. Just to recap, we had the New Finland Chocolate Company. Yum. I thought the ambience was really good. We went to the parlor as well, which is really, really yummy. The bubble cone, bubble waffle cone. Yeah, yeah. that was cool. Brilliant. We went to Sugar Mama's and got to see Ife meet her new boyfriend, which was exciting. It grew up so quick. <laughs> Okay, let's like, which one was my favorite? I felt like the parlor was amazing. That waffle was just so fresh and soft and the ice cream was really great as well. I'm gonna have to back that up. Uh, for me, my favorite was the Venezuela. I like the fact that all the beans used in the chocolate came from one plantation. So, and I like that was compared to whiskey. Yeah, so okay. the New Finland Chocolate Company is your favorite? Yes, ma'am. Well, that's great. I'm stuffed, are you stuffed? Totally stuffed. Are you stuffed? Nah, but scoop, there it is. <laughs> there it is!